Welcome everyone. We are back in Train Simulator Pro USA after taking quite an extensive time off. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry, I just woke up. Uh, I promised this a lot for everyone. Um, I didn't do a season finale for season five. Uh, I meant to, but I really didn't. So this will be kind of like the season five finale but also the beginning of season six um this game got a lot of updates for bugs and all that stuff if you ask me there's quite mo more bugs and um yeah i'm not a fan of it we're going to be using a locomotive that we haven't seen in a while the rc 44th Alrighty. Oh, we're at the wood factory. Okay. We're back on the Maryland and Western Pacific Railroad. And lead is 8513. Second unit is 1853. And the third unit is 1318. Yeah, like, see, this is one of the new bugs. Like, we get a white light. I do know that white light exists in the real life railroading, but these have always been yellow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do my best to uh, try to answer your questions on this game, even though I haven't played it for about like a month or almost. Actually, I don't know when's the last time I played it. Right, let's go to the mirror. Cut. Uh, if you haven't seen the mission, we are going to Portland. I am working to get a OBS hooked up on my computer and I'm going to start recording games on there. Um, I just don't know when I'll be able to get that hooked up and set up.
Alright. Tray though connected up. Gonna give her some slack. Alright. 8513 departing Beijing Wood Factory on our way to Portland Training Yard. Yeah, that white light was flashing. I don't know what that means, to be honest. Like, these lights are supposed to be green, and they're not. They're white. So, uh, game developers, have you ever seen this video? Um... Please uh, fix that because it is really annoying. I mean, yes, I can tell tell if the signal is clear. We got a speed restriction up ahead on that, but it just adds like you know the realism to it. Since this train is going to Portland, we'll identify this train as, um, hmm. Oh, and one thing they did add is that it's, the map is now color-coded. So yellow is, uh, Washington. Uh, orange is part of Oregon. R red is part of Idaho. I don't know what this is up here. But it looks like there could be potential for more. But, um, hmm. Wait, so... Okay, so I'll make it this. Oregon is 16 and 15 M. Or 17 M. 16 and 17 M. Idaho is, uh, is 18 and 19 M. And anything that deals with this, Washington, is 12 and 13 M. So this will be... 16M since it's entering o Oregon. And people ask me how I bought the DLCs. Uh, I remember this being one of my questions. First, let me collect my daily coins. Um, it would have been in here. Actually, no. It would have been like right where the locomotives are. And I would say, and it would say purchase like 
the Oregon DLC or with US currency. Now to uh, purchase those DLCs, you need like a specific number of um of coins, like how I have like basically a million. Um, the second thing you need to purchase with that, I do believe, is um yeah, it is your uh, level score. Collect some free gems, I guess. Let me check my uh, perks, by the way. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you would need, like, to purchase, like, a... Uh, either use your in-game money and in-game level, which takes constant grinding. Grinding. Like, pfft. You saw how hard it was for me when I did this back in, like, season three or four. But, um, yeah. Or you can purchase it with real life money. I do not recommend that, but you can do whatever you want. And here's all the freight cars I own. I own four coach cars, 20 hoppers, 16 box cars. 15 refrigerator cars, 10 center beams, 17 wood flat cars. I don't own any livestock cars because I don't have it, have the need for it right now. I own 20 tankers, 12 coil cars, which is something we have not used a lot in our rare line, 8 super liners, 20 gondolas, 15 hopper cars. And uh, these wire cars are basically the same thing as coil cars, just without the top on it. Bulkhead flat cars, I own 12 of those. Two sunroof superliners. And the metal flat car is for like vehicles and tanks. I have not need the need of that. One thing I hope we could start doing is run like a little bit of a PSR or like combine multiple trains into one that go to like the same destination like Portland train yard like they need tools but they also need like a uh, diesel fuel or something Yeah, like, see, that's supposed to be a green light, and I know it's a green light because of the speed limit, 55 miles an hour.
Okay, so you no longer can go five over the speed limit. Kind of sad. I like going 60 miles an hour. Entering Vancouver train yard. All right, we got to stop for a train departing the Vancouver Food Factory. Whoa, 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 we'll break, we'll break. We'll break. Okay, they definitely moved the signals because that, I don't remember them being this close. Or that far away. I used to be able to go like right past these bushes. So I'm right here. Where the heck does this lead? I don't remember seeing that there. Comments to you?
Oh, uh, express passenger train. And yeah, this used to be 15 miles an hour to the train yard. Now it's saying that we can go 30. Not that I'm complaining, but... It just doesn't seem right to go that fast in the train yard. Well, at least Portland train yard will get their tools and uh, they'll be happy. And the three RC 44s are going to help out running 16 and 17 M through Oregon. Disconnect wagons. Alright, let's claim this. Eugene Container Port. Okay. Tacoma Oil to Salem. I know Salem is a small train yard. I'm not going to do any of these missions because this requires me to go around the uh, map. And I really don't feel like going around the entire map just for a small delivery of tools. Well, this one's pretty big, but I really don't have the time for it because I got to get going pretty soon. And then Olympia Food Factory. I've always had problems with. Probably going to be needing a GP9 for that. Then Portland to Kenwick, that'll be 17M. Oh, the passenger train through, uh, gates th through the Devil's Curve. That's good, we'll do this one. Oh, right, I forgot I have, a uh, so many, of uh, locomotives out running the passenger train. A this locomotive on the rear. All right, we'll just drive a very short passenger train then, with all of our freight car passenger cars. Thank you. This gotta be one more. My like, see the window actually closes. So this is one more of one of my f favorite interiors. You also got a digital speedometer to just tell you how fast you're going. Like, let me get, get up to speed. Like, see, I don't even need to look at the mile per hour thing below me. All you gotta do is look up right up where um, the speedometer is.
from the interior of this locomotive. It's about the same as the F7s. Hold on, let me load up on the passengers. Open up. This is an X-Go rail from Canada. We do go into Canada a little bit, but not too, too much. Like, this is the Vancouver train yard in Washington, but we also have a Vancouver yard in Canada as well. Anyways, let me get back up to the lead locomotive, and let's get this train to the Portland station. Okay, yeah, that thing's still bugged. I wonder if that loop, this track right here, leads to, uh, it's just another way to get over through, uh, to, um, Oregon without coming through the Vancouver station slash train yard. I'll have to ask maintenance of way about it. Maintenance away did a lot of work while I was away. Okay, now it's 15 through the train yard. What the heck? So I'm just going to go around because I think this is like the cheat track where you can just bypass the whole train yard and not have to worry about the stupid speed limit. Or not because there's freight cars on the way. This doesn't even classify as a locomotive anymore, I don't think. Um, you rail fans, let me know down in the comments. Like, what is this locomotive? It used to be a locomotive, but now it got converted into, like, a baggage car, I think, or something. Because, in reality, this shouldn't be having an engine. I don't care for the 80 penalty game I 
There's another railway. There's another bridge over there. What the heck? I hope that's a road bridge, not a railroad bridge. Okay, it is a road bridge, okay. I don't remember a bridge being here. This is the end for my journey for today. And I'll, up, I'll upload this to YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to make this a part of Season 5 or 6 yet. Um, but I will uh, eventually upload this. I don't know when. Heck, you guys probably aren't going to see this for probably until later today or not until tomorrow. But, um... Yeah. 1,275,958 money. Ben Chemical and Salem Train Yard. Transport 200 tools. 200 tools in a single mission. Diesel, petrol. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions about this game, please let them ask them down in the comments below. I do play this game more often than anyone. Um, if you do have some questions about like previous things, uh, go back into my earlier seasons and uh, hmm, excuse me, and then those will be uh solved solved for you in the previous seasons but in the meantime make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe as it is the best way to support out my channel it's free you can always change your mind later and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and uh goodbye for now